Hey guys, uh, get my full unfiltered show the way you can't here on YouTube by visiting thecomicsgym.com. It's free and totally uncensored. Um, Norm MacDonald, who for me uh, is the, he's my favorite comic. I know he got the Richard Pryors and the whatever, the George Collins. This guy is my favorite uh, stand-up. Um, and I was shocked. I, I didn't know he was even sick. Um, anyways, I'm reading this crap. You already know, SNL. Probably the best <laughs> weekend update guy ever. He died uh, yesterday in Los Angeles after a private battle with cancer, which is... Um, I, I, I didn't even know he was He's there. gone, and we couldn't do nothing about it. And um, it's funny, his appearance had changed over the years quickly. I remember saying to my wife that I think that's medication, but I thought it was stomach related. I know he already had stomach problems and stuff, uh, but he kept that. That's the type of guy he is. He didn't want people to look at him in a different light, which they do when you're diagnosed with something like that. So nine or 10 years he's been battling this. And um, anyways, McDonald's manager, Mark Gerberts, uh, confirmed the comedian's death to the New York Times. McDonald had reportedly been battling cancer for nine years, but did not want to make the diagnosis public. Um, Longtime producer, partner, and friend, Lurie Joe Hextra, um, mentioned that, that he was most proud of his comedy, Hextra said. He never wanted the diagnosis to affect the way the audience or any of his loved ones saw him. Norm was a pure comic, so true. Uh, he once wrote that a joke should catch somebody by surprise. Uh, it should never pander. And he was the best at that. Um, whenever you put on Letterman or any show, whether it was Conan, and you saw that he was going to be the guest it was like Christmas comes early. I mean, he was the best. You could argue he was the best guest, whether it was with Jay Leno, whoever. He was such a great guest on these uh, late night talk shows. Um, and Norm never panded. He'll be missed terribly, obviously. Um, I met him through the great Colin Quinn uh, when Colin was working at SNL and I got to go up in the office and, and, and hang out with Norm and we hit it off because he leaned a little right in his politics, which he didn't make as public as uh, I do, of course. Um, but uh, nobody made me laugh harder. So I met him once or twice for, for not that long. And then I move out to LA and this is a true story. I'm living on my first apartment on Doheny and uh one late afternoon, there's a knock on the door, and it's Norm. I had only met him like twice for about, I don't know, four minutes each time. And um, he knocks on the door. Hey, how you doing, Nick? Hey, you mind if I crash here for a couple days? He stayed at my apartment for a couple days. It was like, it was like uh, a little kid catching Santa Claus in the living room on, on Christmas Eve or whatever. I was so thrilled. And, of course, nothing but uh, hilarity ensued for the next... 24 hours and stuff. And um, I remember telling him about, uh, we started <laughs> talking about uh, girls and dating. And and I said, yeah, this girl, and he repeated this to everybody. I didn't even think it was that funny. I go, yeah, I remember this girl once um, licked my ass. This is when I was single in a little, little while. <laughs> and I go, the next day, she goes, I, I don't have my toothbrush. I go, use mine. She goes, gross. And fucking Norm, every time I ran to a comic a few months after that, they repeated that. Uh, Norm thought that was the funniest goddamn thing. And then he's gone. I think he said to Colin or somebody, hey, DePaulo really knows how to treat women. I was over there and he's telling his girlfriend, uh, you know, make me a sandwich or something. And, and <laughs> just fucking, uh, I don't know. He he was such an odd, in, in a great way, crazy um he came to New York. I have my radio show. He goes, yeah, I want to be a partner. We talked about it on the phone and crap. And then, you know, he, I, I can't get him to return my calls for months. And then he comes to New York. And he, uh, and like the last night he's here, he calls me. I had just done like five sets at the cellar and all over the city. He goes, yeah, I'm at the Plaza Hotel. Come on up. I go up there. I think I already told this on the show. It's 1.30 in the morning. 1.30, quarter or two. He's sitting there with a pot of black coffee. Like it's noontime. Smoking his cigarettes, 
And he, I, I watched him. I stayed there for about an hour and a half. I watched him finish what was left in that and order another. I go, what are you doing? It's fucking three in the morning. Why? He was totally oblivious to. Are you going to sleep tonight or whatever? He's just sucking on cigarettes. And, um, oh, God, I just fucking, uh, I, I just, I was in shock yesterday. Um, yeah. They always take the great ones, you know? Hey, guys, watch the full episode of the Nick DiPaolo Show uh, for free on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Android, iPhone, Android Mobile, or on your computer for free by visiting thecomicsgym.com or downloading the Comics Gym app.